ahead of the 2017 Edo Ada celebration, Latif Idrisu has been out and about checking out preparation, of course, with a focus on the business boom in the sale of livestock. Less than 24 hours away before Muslims across the globe put knife to the throats of their sacrificial lamb to carry out the sacrifice to honor and emulate the example by Prophet Abraham. Now, here in Ghana, many Muslims are preparing towards the big event which comes off tomorrow, Friday. I'm here at Aveno Railway Crossing, which I must say has now been converted and is now the hub of doing business as far as selling sheep and cows are concerned. To engage those doing business, to find out how business has been. Well, so far, I sell about 10. 10? Yeah. How would you describe business generally? Business. Yeah, we can bring them to sell because we are from Boku, from here, here the price be good, but around this time, the price is not good. They are not buying, they are no more buying again. But you've sold 10, you brought yeah, 20. 24, I sold 24. 10, 11, 11 12, mm. 14, 14, 11. So if you call the customers, they've come, they'll go, they'll buy them, but it's not good. The, the price prices are good. too much? Yeah. Why don't you beat the price down? No, because it's not our problem. From Boku, we don't get them the, like the price that they are buying. So from Boku, we don't get them like that. The price is too much because the rate is high now. When you look at this, the CFA, now it's high. The price, the, 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 the money is high now. Now it's safer, CFA. We are going there and buy them. But right now, if you can calculate how, if you buy a ship at 200,000 safer, you can come and sell it here. 200,000 safer is like 16, 16 million. 1,600. Yeah, 1,600, yeah. So if you buy something from there, 200,000 safer, to here now, how much are you going to buy it? The customers, they are not, they are not coming inside. I don't know whether it will be later, before they come, I don't know. But this time, they, they are not coming at this time. Mm. The ship is closely looking at you. I don't know if it is yeah, also know, willing to speak to yeah, us. Yeah, you know me, you know me, you know, the ship knows me. Do you speak to these animals? No, we are not speaking to them. Because you are able to gather them at one place and they do not move an inch unless you move and instruct. What, what, what is the secret? Oh, because the secret is what we are giving them food, feeding them, giving them water, they know us. Mm. Like we are Your brother just lamented that business isn't good. Yeah, is it the same you know. with you? Yeah, it's too bad. Mm. It's not buying at all. But they say for the rate is too high. Mm. So the business, everything is not moving, you know. Yeah. How many did you bring here? I bought about 50, you know. 50? Yeah. And so far, how many have I you? I just sell two. Mm. Yeah, it's only two and then I just sell. So it's too bad. Got the price sell, the price is not good at all. Mm. How many animals did you bring down here? I brought about 50. 15. Yes. So far, how many have you sold? Only three. And you say business is good? Um, I said it's money, yeah, but not good. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, do you expect to sell out what you have in stock? From what we are seeing, the market is getting very poor. Because last year when we were here, by this time of um, the, the time, uh, we, we, we already finished selling, let's say, or maybe. Almost everybody got finished at this time, but this year we don't know what is happening. What has changed? We don't know. Maybe it's the change of government or we can best see. But from my knowledge or to the best of my knowledge, I think it's the change of government. Why, why should the change of government affect, I mean, your business? Because last year, uh, that was 2016, 2015, 2013, and there we are going. The safer was very good for us, so anytime we go to Burkina Faso to buy, we can buy the animals with, um, um, let me say, a low price and come here so that when we sell, we get something to also sustain life. But this time, when you go to Burkina Faso to even buy, the safer is too high. Okay. So because of that one, we can't make any profit out of what we are doing. Maybe we are buying two, they want uh, 20,000 safer. Mm. Yes, but it's very expensive. Yeah, animals uh -huh. very expensive. Uh, it's very, very expensive mm. these years. Uh, me, I want her, they do it for the Al-Fakir. Uh, the people don't have money yeah. where, because we have to very, 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 very time now is no go back. Mm. Yes. And mm. so how many are you buying? You say it's very expensive. Would you still go ahead and buy the two? No, I, I want to buy two, but they don't give me very good price. Mm. 
Huh? If they give me a very good price, I can buy two. Huh? Yes, for mother. And I'm sure you've been doing this every year. For every year. For, how, for how long have you been doing this? Oh, alhamdulillah, to my 18 years, I do it that. Oh, wow. Yes, me, I stay in Germany. Every year, I come back to holiday in the well, nation. Why did you come back to, to, to Ghana? Uh, I come in to visit my mother. Okay. Uh, because me, my father from Senegal, I come to look at my mother. I want to say him hello, Eid al Kabir. Right. So let's try and get some uh, more views from. Uh, hello, good, good afternoon. Fine. Good afternoon, sir. No, no. I, you, you don't want to talk to no, us? No. Okay. Now you are doing business. Yeah, you give, can you give us your name? No, I'm not going to pick up. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to pick up. All right, so. No good for me. You no know good for you? Yeah. Uh, you mean market no good? Uh, no, market no, no good, Kura. Uh, so you don't go fit talk? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Ghana no good. I mean, Ghana, I have a Balgama. Uh, so Ghana no good. Why do you say Ghana no good? No money. You lack money, I have no money. More no day. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But you get money, go buy this know, one, you can't. I buy this one, come here, no, no money. So I don't go fit talk. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay. Okay. Ahead of the day, we wish them a successful uh, day, a successful celebration, and more fun for all of them. Away from Ido Ada Talks, talk of an industry that the media hardly pays any attention to, although it is one aspect of commerce which is going through major changes and growth. In the past few years, the beauty, cosmetics, and personal care industry is booming and proving to be a worthwhile investment for many entrepreneurs. As a result, international corporations are turning to Africa. In Ghana, this means consumers are sport for choice, pushing up competition. In the first of a three-part series, Roda Oseje focuses on the beauty business, which is undoubtedly advancing the economic potential of many countries across the world. The beauty, cosmetics, and personal care industry across the world is believed to be worth half a trillion dollars, with Africa contributing about 3% together with the Middle East. The industry generated about $400 billion to the global economy and is expected to peak to $675 billion by 2020. In Africa, Fast-moving consumer goods within the industry are estimated to be worth over $13.2 billion. South Africa and Nigeria have the biggest markets with $2.1 and $1.2 billion respectively. The market potential and opportunities inherent have attracted large international corporations to the continent to cater to the ever-increasing appetite by patrons, not to talk of Africa's year-round warm and often humid weather conditions, which present an even bigger opportunity. In Ghana, an exploding population with high spate of urbanization and fast rising middle class tastes make business in beauty in personal care more lucrative. And this means more competition and a variety of options to choose from. The sector obviously has evolved through several trends, from tabletop to wooden kiosk, through container shops to the now bourgeois beauty centers. I fix ribbon, retouch, and also braid cornrow and rasta. And I also do wicked. Because it's not something that it have expiring dates for it, you will definitely get something. So we don't lose, we always gain. If I work for maybe 300, uh, maybe 500 in a month, I will pay for maybe light for 350 CDs a month and also buy products for maybe 30 CDs. We do nails, acrylic nails, makeups, pedicure, manicure, and now, like people patronizing it, yeah. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, of course. If only you have clients and if you are good at your work, if you are good, you will get more clients. 
I've been in this business for the past five years now. Been good and great as well. What makes it look crazy? Depending on the styles you do, any you have to be focused and you have to think and see things that like you have to really think of styles that are great and will fit people. While some stick to just an aspect of the business, other entrepreneurs go all out to create a beauty haven. When you enter into any beauty clinic, I believe um, some of the things you should look out for is a hair done, a facials done, a massage, a manicure, pedicure. They should also be able to take care of any skin problem you have, that is in terms of either acne or wrinkles or any particular skin problem that we are exposed to as we grow older. You should also be able to get some kind of consultations done. Um, let me say in our local palace, we say, uh, if I was speaking, uh, much of um, fish does not spoil the soup. Okay, instead of saying I would go to one particular shop, get my hair done, and then move to the next place to go get my nails done, or to the next place to go have maybe an, a, a pedicure for myself. Why don't you enter into one particular place where you can have all done at the same time and then you are off to go? Instead of it, it will save you time, it will save you cost, cost, even though it is different, different services you are uh, receiving from the clinic, the cost will not be as much as when you go to one place, move to the other, and move to the other. Because the whole package will be at a lesser cost for you. Now in the modern world, now you can learn everything together. So we actually learn everything together. So we decided to put it in a try, and it really worked. Skin and spa therapies have also come to stay with services cutting across treatments, maintenance and rejuvenation solutions. When we say DMK, DMK is abbreviated from the name of the founder, that is the Daniel Montague King. Um, he is the researcher of DMK because some, this, some years ago he had a problem with his skin and upon finding a solution to it, he came about DMK. DMK offers an effective skin revision program for all ages, skin conditions and genetic backgrounds. That is any type of problem that you have on your skin. If when you come to DMK, we can help you, we have a solution for you. So be, as far as it is on the skin, that is the outskirts of the body, we can help you. DMK in Ghana has been around um, two years and some few months now. And um, I would say actually the market has been very good. And basically with the survey, it is because, you know, um, most of the citizenry are into let me see, um, other skincare products which, you know, cause much damage to the skin. So getting the knowledge and the information that uh, DMK is a botanical product and has no particular side effect on your skin when it is applied on you, they have really embraced it and uh, it's really encouraging. Despite the competition and the choked market, those in business appreciate their share irrespective of the differences. The things in common though are ambition and good profit margins. If all of these are anything to go by, then one can't help but imagine the other prospects this in turn creates. Think of equipment and accessories? Well, that's a story to be told on another day. For Joy Business, I am Rhoda Osei Ejei.